In Creole Parametric, you can control the orientation of fasteners that are placed into an assembly using the Intelligent Fastener Extension. Let's take a look at that. So here in my model, I have a couple of beams sitting on top of each other, and you might be able to tell that this surface over here and the corresponding surface underneath, they are not parallel to each other. They are not perpendicular to the main web of the flange either. So they're at an angle. Let's take a look at assembling some fasteners on here. I'm going to turn on my datum axis display. Then to access IFX, you go to the tools tab. Let's go to the screw command and I'm going to assemble it on the reference of this datum axis that I have created in here. All right, here we have the placement surfaces. Let's select this surface over here for the screw head. Let's select this surface underneath here for the nut or thread. And here we have orientation. When I go through it this time, I'm not going to define orientation. Let's click the OK button. And you can see that our fastener, even the preview is coming in at an angle over here. It doesn't look quite right. Uh, let's see in here, hex bolt, and yeah, all the different choices in here are good. Let's click the OK button to accept this as the fastener. And again, you can see that it's, it's at an angle. It's probably not the way that we want it placed in here. So let's use the delete command to get rid of the fastener. Yes, we'll click OK out of there, and it's gone, and it also got rid of the holes. Now, let's go back to the screw command, assemble on reference. I'm going to select the same axis for locating it, same surface for the screw head, same surface for the nut or the thread. And again, you can probably tell if I can orient it right. Uh, again, that it's not coming in uh normal to the flange the way that we want it to. Actually, we want it to be parallel to the main web over here. So let's click in the orientation collector. And I can select a flat surface like this surface over here or this surface over here to define the orientation. Here we have options to align the first side and or align the second side. And again, since both sides are angled or tapered, I want to align both of them. And so now it's going in the direction that we want. Let's click the OK button over here. That looks much better. Let's click the OK button over here. And so now I have my fastener placed in here the way that I want because we defined the orientation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.